the President of the United States, who is to be? I'd like to ask the President of the United States a question. I'm Benjamin Sarsman of the Wichita Union. Have you read uh, President ahead of his new book, Mr. Senator? <laughs> yes, and he also uh, gave me a uh, copy of it today, the author's edition. <laughs> Thank you, Ben, for that advertisement. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. Ready? <laughs> On July 2, I believe, you said that you thought the convention was going to be fixed. you change your opinion? I didn't say it? that. I said it looked to me as if the convention was already made up the way it was supposed to go, and that was what the trouble was. And it was, and it came out all right. It nominated a man, and I'm going to support him. Now, what are you going to do about that? <laughs> Did you and Senator Kennedy talk over the things that Senator Kennedy would like to do in the campaign, sir? Yes. You have to ask the senator about it. He, uh, he can answer that question much better than I can. Yes, I asked uh, President Truman to participate actively in the campaign and uh, travel through the country, and he said he would. One firm commitment, and that's at Marion, Indiana, for a Labor Day meeting on the fifth day of September. And I've discussed the other proposed meetings with uh, uh, Senator Kennedy, and he's approved the one at Marion, Indiana. Well, may I ask, is it, is it quite probable that there will be one in New York City, sir? Yes. Well, I uh, asked uh, President Truman if he would come to New York City, and he said he would. President, do you plan to use what is known as the give-em-hell style? I never did have a give-em-hell style. I used to tell the truth, and the Republicans, and they sold for sale. That's what I'm saying. Always used to go sell. Well, Mr. Kennedy, you have any plans either in formative stages, or have you thought about asking President Truman to become an official or unofficial foreign policy advisor to the election? No, but I think... President Truman is a source of advice and counsel on uh, all issues, including, of course, foreign policy. But uh, that was one of the reasons why I was anxious to talk with him this morning. President, uh, both of the WDAF. Uh, there have been some complaints by newsmen that the incumbent president does not hold news conferences often enough. If you're elected president, what will your policy be in regard to the holding of news conferences? Well, I uh, think it's probably a question that would... Uh, better wait, but I do think it's uh, useful to see the press. I think the custom has been once a week, and I would think that whoever is president would uh, certainly see the press at least once a week. They don't say lie on you. Did you make any recommendations to a candidate about foreign policy? The recommendations that I make are made on questions from the candidate for president as a result of my experience, and you have to ask him about that. Well, I, with, with the president, I'd like to ask you a question concerning something about which you should be an expert. <laughs> I'm an expert in nothing, Eddie, but go ahead. Uh, the Gallup poll recently showed uh, Vice President Nixon leading Senator Kennedy by, I think it was 50... 44. <laughs> Eddie, do you remember a Gallup poll that showed Dewey to be 60 to 42 in 1948? That's about the same answer. 60 to 42? I don't know what it was. That's my uh, viewpoint on polls. I don't think much of them, but then uh, the senator must make up his own mind on that. I don't have any use for polls. They don't mean a thing. Well, we have a hard fight in those areas. When I refer to the 50 states, I uh, try to make it clear that there isn't a single state that we'd write off. I want to make that abundantly clear. We do have a hard fight in, in Texas. Uh, I would say in Florida. Virginia, and uh, 
possibly in Oklahoma. But uh, a hard fight may be a good thing for us because I think it'll make us redouble our efforts to win. But we, we can carry those states, and I'm confident we will. The most encouraging part of it is the fact that the hard-working Democrats in those areas now recognize that we do have a fight, and they're in their pitching. This, to me, is the most hopeful sign. And we have other areas where we have. What have you and uh, the candidates accomplished this morning? Just what you continue to tell the truth, though, and of course they still think it's hell, I guess. They had a truth squad in the world. They had a truth squad to follow me around, so you remember, and I invited him to get on the train, and he was afraid he couldn't. They revived it again. Of course, the truth doesn't need a squad. Not so. Mr. President, so far of all of our time, what uh, caused you to decide that Senator Kennedy was ready for the country? Uh, prospects for the Kennedy Johnson ticket in your home state of Missouri. Carried by an overwhelming majority. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> I'd like to ask the senator, we've been hearing of him this week, he's not being in the best of health. How are you feeling this morning? I'm all recovered. Your boys? Yes. Your sinus? It's all right. Mighty glad to see you looking so well. Thank you very much. <laughs> when the Democratic Convention decided to nominate him for president, that's all the answer you need. The National Democratic Convention uh, is the law for the Democratic Party. And I'm a Democrat, and I follow the law. say that uh, we have a tough fight. In some areas, it may be uphill. But my judgment is that we can, we're going to win after a uh, very vigorous campaign, and I'm particularly glad that uh, the president is uh, going to join with us. We need the help of Democrats like him. I think we can get it. I think the fact that he's willing to travel the country on behalf of a candidate who runs in uh, almost... Uh, 12 years after he won his victory in 48, I think that gives us great encouragement. So I must say that I'm delighted that we all had a chance to come, and I'm delighted that the president has been willing to associate himself in this strong way with our campaign. Accomplished enough to win the war, that's all. Isn't that enough? There are three or four of them. The principal uh, ones, I think, is the destruction of the foreign policy of the United States of America. And the next one is the handling of the agricultural policy. You know, they quarrel about what it costs to have an agricultural policy in this country. It cost a billion dollars the last two years I was in office. It's now costing six billions. The operation of the national debt and the handling of the finances of the United States has been a disgrace to the country, and it's cost the poor people about $20 billion. I think those are the principal issues, and I, I shouldn't speak no. to you, uh, Senator, because you know what they are as well as I do. You've been there. That? We didn't discuss the details of the farm program. I think the, uh, we talked about the Democratic platform, and I think the Democratic platform on farm policy is uh, admirable, and I support it strongly. Well, that, me, that next one, uh, did you ask the President to do anything other than participate in the speaking engagement? No, that's what we discussed. He's a member of Congress, and I'm not. And you have to ask him about that. You have to come up with a question? No. Senator Kennedy, have you asked uh, Mr. Truman to talk on, on any particular issue of the foreign program or national campaign? No, whatever he uh, talks about will be uh, appropriate. Mr. President, Charles Brown, friend, CBS News. Uh, you say that as a good Democrat, you, of course, will support Senator Kennedy. You told us out here before Los Angeles that you felt that Senator Kennedy was too young and inexperienced. The National uh, Democratic, uh, I said there. the National Democratic Convention solved that, and that's all there is to that. You now feel that that's all there is to that. Senator, <laughs> Senator uh, you spoke of uh, asking the president to campaign for you in New York. Could you tell us some of the other places you discussed with him, the places where you'd like to have him come in? No, but we did just mention New York, and there were some other states. But I think his, I think that uh, the Democratic National Committee is going to be talking to President Truman about his schedule. But we did happen to mention New York. 
I think he was talking about going to make a farm speech and in some other areas, but I think it would be better to wait till we have it uh, lined up. Mr. President, you said that uh, you when Missouri overwhelmed him, but you care to make a prediction about the country. I'm no political prophet, no poster, and I can't make a, uh, 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 I can't answer that question for the simple reason that I don't have any faith in political prophets or posters because the Democrats are going to win. That's all there is to it. I want to direct a question to the new national chairman of the Democratic Party, Senator Jackson. I know that you're going to do an able job. <laughs> what do you think Senator Kennedy's chances are going to be? There's no doubt about what the chances are. He's going to win. We, uh, I'll, let me state it this way. I can say in, in all candor, if a, a party chairman can be candid, that there's not a single state that is chairman that I would be warranted in writing off today to the Republicans. Not a single state. In other words, we have a chance to win in all 50. And we're going to put up a fight in all 50. And we're going to win. And if you, I, I don't think you can name a state where an objective reporter could come up and say the Democrats don't have a chance. I think that's right. I'd be interested in the state. I mean, I'm not saying we're going to carry it necessarily, but there isn't a single state. Vermont and Maine were famous in 36. Maine is now a Democratic state, or at least it's a strong two-party state. We have a governor, a senator, and two out of the three congressmen. And in Vermont, we elected a congressman for the first time in 102 years or six years. So I, that's the best way I can say it. Excuse me. I wonder if you could give us just a little detail on your talk. What did you talk about uh, how did it go? Any, any detail, we appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> any detail. <laughs> we, didn't have any, we didn't have any recording machine, but we talked about winning an election, and that's what we're going to do. Yes, I will be talking with him during the campaign. Senator Kennedy, Bob Slater, St. Joseph News Press. We've heard President Truman and Senator Jackson analysis of your chances for November. Would you care to give us your own analysis at this time? Yes, I'm going to be bringing KCMO news. You've had some areas of money difficulty to be. No, I just think it's uh, I think it's going to be a hard-fought campaign and a tough campaign. I don't take the view that uh, we'll win 50 states, but uh, Senator Jackson may be right. I think we've been fortunate to hear from most of the team. I think we ought to hear from the senator from the great state of Missouri, Senator Simonson, what he thinks about it all. Well, I'm glad to be here uh, with Senator Kennedy. That's a privilege in itself. It's a great honor for both of us to be here with President Truman. And I'm uh, confident that the President will give all his support. He told me that before to Senator Kennedy. And I think that's going to be very helpful. I fully confer, uh, concur with uh, the President when he says that uh, Missouri is going Democratic for Senator Kennedy. And uh, I believe he's made a very wise choice. And Senator Jackson, who's been my colleague for many years in the Senate, we sit next to each other. He's one of the hardest working and the most dedicated Democrats I know. And although it's wrong to be over optimistic, I'm confident that the people of the United States are going to elect uh, Senator Kennedy president uh, in November. Well, Senator Kennedy, Mr. Johnson, is president of Curry, Massachusetts. They want to know if you have endorsed. No, I'm not taking any position in the primaries in Massachusetts. You're correct. <laughs> I'd like to address a question to Senator Kennedy and Senator Jackson. Senator Kennedy, you've been a very active member of the
Thank you.